Uh, it's Monday to us, Friday to you. Um, and uh, we had a good practice today. A uh, little bit different because of we had uh, a bye week, kind of. You know, you had three or four extra days. But uh, we got a lot done in regards to uh, Ball State. But uh, my message to the, our team uh, this week has been, uh, you know, when we came out of training camp, I thought uh, uh, we were playing extremely well on all three phases. And uh, at times during the season, you've seen the offense play very well. At times, you've seen the defense play exceptional and our teams. and. Uh, what I've uh, the message that I said is our goal is to try to play the best football that we've ever played here these next four weeks. And uh, for that to occur, you know, we've got to uh, protect the ball. If you look at when we've won games, we've won the turnover battle. Our defense is getting the ball back and offensively when we take care of it, we win. Uh, we've got to still concentrate on being great blockers and great tacklers. I think we're tackling really well right now. I think uh, uh, offensively, we're starting to figure out how to block the run game. We've got to protect the passer better because the fact of the matter is, is we're going to have to be, uh, you know, obviously, Terrion's a, a huge weapon, but we've got to be balanced. Um, I'm expecting that we'll see overloaded fronts and all that other stuff. So we've got enough weapons on the perimeter, uh, beyond enough weapons. And uh, we need to kind of look like we did coming out of training camp in terms of offensively. Um, made a huge emphasis with our players that, uh, you know, it's our job to do our job to the very best ability day in and day out. And the biggest thing that uh, we've been stressing is, um, you know, a lot of this inconsistency in our staff's opinion, my opinion, comes from all the noise that's around them. And uh, what happens is, is they're worried about what they're going to be doing in December. Are they going to be playing in the NFL? Are they going to be doing this? Are they going to be doing that? And they come, become consumed with it. And uh, it's our job to really try to focus them on handling the now. If, if you handle the now, our team's going to have a great four weeks. If we handle the now, um, our players are, are going to benefit from it, but uh, that's hard to do. And uh, what we got to do is really focus on, on getting these guys focused on uh, the now and taking care of today rather than worrying about what happened last week or what's going to happen two months from now. So I think it's a problem across the country. Everyone's battling it. And uh, I think our team is going to do a great job with that, and we're hoping to have you know, four really good weeks. And we've got some challenges ahead of us. Uh, this first challenge in Maction is very similar to what I said last week about uh, Akron. I think this is a very, very dangerous football team. Uh, I think Mike is not a good coach. I think he's a great coach. Uh, they've won a championship. They know how to win. Uh, they're tough as heck on defense. I think they found themselves an identity on offense uh, with the quarterback situation. The running back is, uh, can score every single time he touches the ball. The quarterback has the ability to score. And uh, there's just a bunch of really good players around the back and the quarterback. So we've got to do a great job with our eyes. We know that there'll be uh, a lot of eye, eye violation plays because of the threat of the run game with the quarterback. So we've got to do a great job in uh, all three phases against a, a really good team. And just like I said, this, is, uh, um, this isn't a two-win team. This is a team that uh, um, has found themselves and are extremely dangerous and a lot of respect towards them. Our staff feels that way. Um, I like it, actually. Um, I love it to the fact that um, we're practicing on the weekends. Uh, today is a Monday, so Saturday's practice will be a Tuesday practice, and Sunday will be a Wednesday's practice. I know that sounds confusing, but that's our world right now. And I love that, uh, that we're able to uh, keep our routine in the morning. We practice, uh, be able to get our guys off our feet, be able to feed them properly, and uh, 
um, get them ready to play a, a night game on national TV against a good Ball State team. I don't know. I'm hoping. I mean, that's the the whole goal is the consistency, and uh, that's all we've been harping on is being consistent, uh, being consistent day in and day out. And uh, it's fascinating to me, you know, the kids that have been able to battle uh, and do a great job with the noise are playing really, really well right now, and the guys that uh, that are struggling with it, um, they're playing just okay, and. Uh, there's examples of it. Obviously, I'm not going to give those examples to you. I've given them to our team. And uh, what we've got to do is focus on these next four weeks about doing our job, shutting out the noise, positive or negative, and uh, find a way just to concentrate on that game and uh, play for each other and uh, do the right things and focus. And if we do that, you know, we could have a a really good four weeks here, but obviously, just like I said, it starts with uh, our preparation for uh, Ball State, which I was happy with today's practice coming off of a bye. Normally, that first day of really getting back into it stinks, and it didn't today, so that was positive. I, we gave a bunch of time off to the guys to get them, them uh, uh, their bodies right, so I expected today to be a, somewhat of a clown show, and it wasn't, so that was positive. Uh, just like I said, there's there's times on offense that uh, we run the ball well. There's times we throw it well. There's times, like you go back to the Akron game, we threw it like awful in the first half and then threw it fairly well in the second half. And that had a lot to do with the weather, there's no question. But um, we want to get it, just like I said, um, you've seen it at Georgia Tech. We want to be able to play that type of football all the time. And um, we have the potential to do it. That's really hard to do in today's world right now, but I think uh, I think our guys are going to focus and we're going to really make an emphasis on worrying about uh, now rather than worrying about our futures and worrying about what happened uh, last week, last month, and uh, get our guys just to focus on what we're trying to do day in and day out. I think uh, we've got a chance to have a good team. It's uh, uh, just like I said uh, uh, last year and the year prior, on first and second down, we would get drop eight and drop nine because the whole world knew that we were going to throw it every single down. And that's, uh, that's not who I want to be. That's not who our team wants to be. That's not who our coaches want us to be. We want to be balanced and efficient in both. Um, and the inconsistencies is sometimes the run game has been really well, sometimes the pass game, and we want to get it together, similar to like uh, Georgia Tech and how we played in training camp. I, I walked out of training camp and said, um, this is the best uh, I've seen us offensively in a long time. And I was actually worried about the defense, and so was our team, and so was our coaches. We were worried just because of how well the offense was playing. We didn't know how good our defense really was. And it turned out our defense is really good. And uh, they need to continue to be good. And offensively, we need to get consistent. How are you seeing Camden and Connor develop together? And how's that leading to we decide when to put in? Yeah, that is, uh, that's been shaky ever since the injuries, to be honest with you. How we wanted to play it uh, it was very similar how we did it in the Georgia Tech game. Uh, we wanted to. Uh, have a package for Cam that uh, he just is not running the ball. He is throwing the ball to keep the defense honest. Um, that's the formula that we wanted. And then uh, Connor gets hurt. Uh, Cam gets hurt with a concussion. I mean, it was completely threw us off in terms of how we wanted to do it. And uh, now both guys are uh, in better shape in terms of uh, health. And uh, you know we'll be able to uh, to rotate those guys kind of how we we planned on doing it, and obviously uh, things change during a game, and uh, we just adapt and adjust. This will be your first meeting against Ball State, where you're looking forward to another matchup. 
I just think the, um, you know, obviously, I, I think it was uh, my second year, I think, I believe, if they won it. Um, I believe it was the second or third. I don't remember, but uh, was it 2020 that they won it? And uh, I just got a lot of respect for Mike. I think he is a, a really, really good football coach. He runs a good program. Um, just like I said, uh, we've got good guys in this conference, good coaches. They do things the right way. And, um, yeah, so I just got a lot of respect for Mike, a lot of stuff what they do, we do in terms of offense. Uh, he was at the um, Saints for a long time, and we've done a lot of stuff over the years and stole from Sean Payton left and right. So uh, I just got a lot of respect for him. I think they do things the right way. Their kids conduct themselves well. You never see them in the paper with uh, problems and uh, good program. Not really, you know, the uh, signals uh, have been stolen from the beginning of time. And uh, that's all I can really say on it. You gotta protect it. I, I've made a statement a thousand times. I'm hopeful that uh, we go to a helmet system similar to the NFL. I don't know in college football if it's, in pro football, it's just the quarterback and a linebacker, whoever's calling the defense. But, you know, the XFL, uh, XFL has done it, where the skill guys can hear it so you can go fast and do all those things. So, you know, at the end of the day, I hope that, uh, that that's where we move. Technology is used in pro football. Technology is used in high school football. And I don't understand why we don't use technology. Um, I would love to have the, the – I don't know if I would like to have what the high school has in terms of where you can actually watch the drive that you just ran, uh, but being able to have pictures of the, and show the quarterbacks and show the offensive line, the pictures uh, similar to the NFL, I think we should have that. And uh, I know we should have uh, some type of communication system between the play caller and the, uh, and the, uh, the quarterback. I, I really believe that. And, and we won't be talking about signals and all this other stuff. Because at the end of the day, uh, I've been a part of games where I think they knew every single play that we were coming and they never stopped us. And there, there's times that I know that, that we watched the TV copies and figured out their signals and we could say, all right, here, best example ever was Boston College, Miami. Greg Nosal was on our staff and he knew every single play that we called and it didn't matter. We, we beat Miami to death that night. So. There's a lot uh, of nonsense to all this discussion, in my opinion. Um, there really is. So, got to you got to tackle and you got to block still. Kind of going off that, because it's usually comments, like Cleveland's made comments about the whole bunch of coaches, kind of in agreement that technology could help. In a perfect world, where would you see this conversation taking changes possibly to be made in the future for college football? Uh, just like I said, I would love to have the pictures. Uh, being able to have a picture book as soon as you get off the field, I think, is beyond um, reasonable. And then the headset. I think the headsets need to be used. And, uh, um, you know, rather than sitting and watching a TV copy and trying to figure out signals, you could be working on teaching a kid to get a little bit better technique wise and all this other stuff and be creative with that rather than the nonsense of trying to figure out who the sig I mean, it's get the headsets and life, life becomes much better. But just like I said, I get it, run past all this rigmarole and roll. And, but at the end of the day, it's players making plays and players uh, blocking and tackling and executing. And uh, so that's just my opinion on it. I'm uh, it's probably way way above my pay grade, but you know everyone asks and everyone's talking about it. So that's just my opinion in terms of let's use some technology. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, um, coach football and 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 worry about technique and worry about scheme rather than uh, trying to figure out does this mean pass or run or whatever. So.
just my opinion.